Welcome back and good morning, Central Oregon. Chances are, if you are celebrating the holidays, then desserts are on your menu. Chef Antonio has some fun and easy holiday desserts for us. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. So what are we making now? They are definitely easy, like you said. Okay. We're going to do a pear and apricot tart. Oh, fun. Uh, first, we're going to start off with a store-bought uh, puff pastry dough. Okay. Uh, you can make it yourself, but it's, I think, 10 times harder to make. <laughs> okay. So we start off by cutting off the edges and making let's say about an inch border to go on each side. There we go. Okay. Save that to the side for maybe cookies. Okay. And then we're going to do a simple egg wash. We have one egg here. Put a little splash of cream and whip it up. And why the cream with the egg? Um, I, I think it, it, when it's in browning in the oven, it gives it more color. Oh, okay. Um, and also a good flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to basically egg wash the whole thing. Okay. Just as simple as that. And then just put the borders right on top of the middle piece. Oh. So you have a crust, like a, like, what does that say, a dessert pizza. <laughs> oh, I love that. There we go. Okay. And the last step is to just fork it. And this prevents the puff pastry from rising too much in the okay. oven, so it's not lopsided or just perfect. Okay. Our next step is to make the, the, the fruit filling. Um, basically, I have pre-chopped or pre-sliced uh, pears, uh, very, you know, slightly thin. Um, these are Anjou pears. I put a, a a uh, small amount of zest, orange zest, into the pears. Okay. And a splash of orange juice. And a couple of tablespoons of sugar, granulated sugar. Okay. Just your regular white granulated right. sugar. Okay. Everything that's in the cupboard. Okay. And then we just toss that. Oop, that fell. <laughs> toss that about. Then we're just going to start putting it right on the puff pastry. We start with a row of pear. Then a row of apricot. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. So once you put all the fruit uh, arrayed, you can either do it rows, you could do it uh, rows lengthwise. Um, we want to put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes so the puff pastry is uh, firm. Um, and now that helps with the baking, mm -hmm. um, baking the evenly. Then we put it in the oven at 375 uh, for about 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. We've uh, taken the, the, the pear apricot tart out of the oven. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I've uh, put some apricot jam right into a really nice sauce, saute pan and heated it up so it's mm -hmm. nice and fluid. And to make it nice and shiny, that's how the professionals do it in the bake shops. They put a little jam on top so it's nice and shiny. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I've noticed a lot of people using these silicone basting brushes. Yep. In your opinion, are they, are they worth it? Um, they are a little more uh, costly, mm -hmm. um, and I do think that they are worth it yeah. if you're doing with really hot things, because mm -hmm. the, the on normal brushes, they're, um, they tend to fall off the little bristles into yes. the sauce, and it's a pain. It doesn't taste good no, either, really. Mm -hmm. A little bristly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then just cut a nice, generous, generous piece, put it on your plate, and serve it with some fresh whipped cream, and there you are. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.